and welcome back. Today I'm looking at a Neo Smart Pen M1 Plus. Now I've done a previous tutorial on this in depth, so I'll leave the link below if you want to know more about the pen and that. But this is more of an update on how to use a new app because it's changed from Neo Notes app to Neo Studio, which you can see on the app now. I'm going to go over it quickly. I'll just show you how to register your pen with it quickly as well. So it's only take about 10 minutes. So first things first, you've got your pen. If you pull the lid off, it will automatically turn on. And you can see the light on. Now it's going to flash blue continuously, but it's not connected to your phone app as well. If I come to the bottom back here, you can turn the power off and on there as well if you need to. So what I'm going to do is pop that down. And I'm going to open up the app. And there you go. It comes up automatically to connect. So select the connect button for me. And it shouldn't take long. You can see it connecting now. And it's done. So I've come to the top left hand corner. You can see the pen's connected at the top. So if I tap on it, there's my pen. And if I top right hand corner, I've got all my settings for that. Battery life, storage for example. And you can even change the default option. Actually, I don't want orange, do I? Let's make it black. If I scroll down, you can even choose auto power settings or pen sound if you need that as well. Also set auto power off, which is quite handy. I'll leave that on 20 minutes. But most important, make sure you do the pen. Make sure you do the firmware update. I've not used this pen in a while, so make sure you do that. It's imperative. Right. Come back out of there. We're good to go. So, got my pen here. This paper, by the way, I've actually downloaded this a PDF format from the Neo Smart Pen website. I'll leave the link and the PDF on my YouTube channel for you to access. So you can print off your own paper as well, which is great. Because those pads can add up if you're buying them all the time. And I just printed it off using 600 times 600 resolution for my printer. So definitely do that. Right, we're ready to go. So let's just say you're in a lecture or a meeting and you want to record and write notes. Well, we can do that. So that little plus button. And I want to choose record. And you can see top left, it's now recording my voice. Now, if you want to write notes as well, all you do is grab your pen and that paper or the pad if you've got it. And then you can start writing notes. And there we go. So you're writing a note and you're also recording what's going on at the same time. And if you want on the app, you can start playing about with the colours. So I could hit the red button there, couldn't I? And put important. And you can even add images and whatever you want on there and numeral numbers as you're listening and recording. Now that's great. Now if I actually select top left hand corner and press what you record, I can now stop it with the stop button. It's got video memo saved. So I've now saved that. So now I'm ready to manipulate my notes if I want. I could go top right hand corner. And then I could start using the options here to highlight information. So for example, if I click the little palette on the left here, and maybe I want to choose uh, yellow. And if I click the little pen option, and maybe I want that quite thick. And then you can underline stuff. You get the idea with that as well. Go top right hand corner. You can undo your options as well if you need to. Well, I'm going to click X to come out of there. Go back to my note. So now I've got my note. Go top right hand corner. There's three little dots. You could start recording again with the top option if you want. You might want to tag it. Or if you come down the bottom here, you can do transcribe option. So you can get all your handwritten text into notes to send to your Word document or Word processor. That's not bad, seeing my handwriting's atrocious. By the way, if you go to the top, you can even change the language there to the language you're using as well. So once I've done that, top right, I can then email that to myself. So I could actually email that to myself if I want to as well. Or you can use a cloud like Dropbox. So if I cancel that and delete draft, and if you've got Dropbox or cloud there, you can send it through that way. Top left hand corner come out there, top left hand corner again. I can carry on writing notes if I want. But top left hand corner will come out there. So there you can see the note, bottom left hand corner that I've added. If you tap the corner, you can actually add that to your favourites. So you've got those notes and get quite complicated. And if I come bottom right hand corner, three little dots. And if I select the option there, favourites. And then it will bring up all your favourites as well. And you see bottom right hand corner, you've noticed the three little dots now for your settings. Click on that for me. And then you can manipulate that note if you want by sharing, copy, move or even deleting that if you wish. 
tap off there, top left, come back out of there. So that's quite simple, straightforward. Click the plus sign again. Say you want to do a notebook. Click on notebook. So I've got to do a notebook here and again, grab your pen and start writing. So you can do a note without recording as well if you just need a note. So there you go, I've added it because it's on the same bit of paper, you see it's identified it and it's done it underneath. So then again, I can manipulate it again if I want, but I'm going to come out of there and come out of there again. If we change the theme of your app, click on themes and you can change a different theme how you want it to look. I've chose Mandarin, but you might want that should then be fine. Click the download button, click OK to change it. And that should now change my theme. There you go. Now come to the bottom middle, got a little folder option. These are your notebooks, so you can add notes to your notebook, like a pad, for example. Right hand corner, you've got your three little dots there. You can change your notebook name if you wish. Share notebook, change notebook cover, and even delete notebooks. And change your language at the top, don't forget that as well if you need to. And at the top right hand corner, you can even search for your notebooks that you've been using and click cancel. Bottom left hand corner takes you back to where you originally were. And you can see that little note I've got there as well. If, if I actually keep my finger on it, you can see it pops it up in a new window. So what I could then do is, see at the top here, I've got a little option, I can send it to one of my notebooks. So what should I send it to? Yeah, Blossom, click OK. So I've now organized that to Blossom, but obviously you'd have your module names or topic names. I'm just using this as an example. And if you don't want to know, keep your finger on it again, it brings it up. And then you've got an option top right hand corner to actually delete that and trash it if you want. Now top right, you've got a little option there. Now you might want to export it as an animation, uh, portable document format, PNG image, FVG or web URL. Now I'm going to do animation. And you can choose what animation, because remember, it actually records as you write the text. So it highlights as you write. I'll show you that in a second. So you can do slow, normal, I'll just do normal, select export. And I'm going to send that. I'm actually going to send it to myself. So I'm going to have to blank this out. Now I've sent that, and I'll open it up in a minute to have a look for you as well. Now I did promise you one thing, if I come back out of there. And I'm going to tap on your note again. Now, top right hand corner, click. See the option I've got there quickly. I haven't shown you yet, which is handwriting replay. And watch. I click play at the bottom. And you can see me writing in time at the bottom and the time it took as well. And there you go. There's a few little bits to get you up and running on the pen. If you want a detailed video tutorial on the pen, have a look at my link at the bottom that I did last year. And that will give you the ins and outs of using the pen. Before I leave you, I promise I'm going to show you that video I just sent to myself, animation. Let's have a little look. And there it is. I've opened it up. It's a bit quick, as you can see. Because it was only like a few seconds. But if I play it back, so that way it will play back all your notes and as you're writing them as well. And any audio you've added to that as well. And there you go. Thanks for watching.